John, how are you doing this week? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you, man. Um, it's been a while since you've needed to have kind of a, you know, like a bounce back fight, for lack of a better term. Um, does that give you added motivation going into a fight week as you're going through camp? Um, yeah, a little bit, but I think um, I'm taking this fight as just, uh, you know, just another fight and, um, I mean, I know, you know, it's one of the top guys in the world, but I still try to take it as just, you know, this is another fight going out there. I, I, there's so much stress for so long with the idea of trying to work away to a my way to a title shot, you know, so I, I think this is probably the least stress I've had on a camp uh, in a long, long time. Um, still got the same work in, but I'm just not, I'm always uh, just exhausted during camp because it's all I think about. I've actually been able to put my mind on other things this time outside of the training room, and it's, uh, it's kind of nice. Is that because you've gone through that process of working your way to a title shot and had the title shot, and now maybe you, you know working your way back up to get another one is going to be a little bit easier? Uh, you know, I think obviously the the goal is to fight for the title again, you know, but I think this is kind of that first fight off. I just didn't think of it that way all the time. That's more of a, this is just a fight I got to go out there and win versus, um, you know, how, how do I have to look? What do I have to do to get that title shot? You know, and it's just, uh, like I said, a lot less stress through the camp. Obviously, five weeks the same, you know, but through the camp, it's a lot less stress. Are there things that you um, were able to sort of take out of that loss? I mean, beyond the fact that, that you've now learned that you can have less stress in the camp after that one? Um, I think some of that, um, you know, hopefully I've, you know, brought a lot away from, from that loss. You know, hopefully every time you fight, you want to learn, especially when you lose. Um, but I think just the notion of, um, you know, everything isn't building to this one moment uh, is kind of a uh, reliever on that. Um, if you, if you win Saturday night, uh, it seems like you're, you remain right there, right behind uh, the champ. If he wins, he probably catapults past you into that position, but, but beyond you two, the field seems a little bit less obvious for who maybe would, would, uh, would get a shot at the title. Do you feel like this is one where you could you know, have lost the title shot, go out and get one win over kind of the next best top contender next to you, and be right back in there with him? But, you know, the thing is, um, you know, obviously I, I can't answer the way that, uh, you know, Bellator's looking at it, but I think the obvious answer is that there is no one else, you know. Um, I think Costello Van Stenis, um realistically should be the guy right behind me, but he, he hasn't been active, so he's not, uh, you know, he's not in the mix right now. And um, you got Fabian Edwards, who's, you know, obviously a very good fighter and uh, one of the top guys. But he's taken two losses, you know, uh, recently. So I don't think he's really in the the argument right now. And, um, and then obviously what Masasu was able to do his last fight that obviously takes that out of the equation. Talk to me a little bit about um, what Johnny brings to the table uh, physically. Obviously he's got no losses, but but it could be argued that he hasn't been in there with kind of nearly the same level of competition that, that you've been in there against. So do you take that as kind of a, a notch in your favor? Um, come fight night and, and sort of break down for me a little bit what he is going to bring, um, you know, just in the fight itself. Um, you know, he's really kind of one of those guys that brings problems everywhere, right? Good wrestler, obviously, and you know, um, you know, we haven't seen a lot of uh, his jitsu, but a guy that's that level of wrestler is going to be very good on top. You know that um, hits hard, comes hard forward. You know, isn't scared. To, uh, to step in hard, you know? So I, I don't, there's no easy place for this fight. There's no clear, like, oh, this is an easy path to victory for him. But like you said, he hasn't been in there with the toughest uh, opponents. And I don't take that as, well, we don't know how good he is because he hasn't been there with these guys because he's he, he's putting guys away. But um, I don't think he's really had that moment of, oh no, what's happening, you know, in this fight. And that's a, um, a game changer. You know, I can think of back in several fights when things go wrong, you know, you know, how terrible it is, how you have that adrenaline dump and you gotta push through it, you know? Um, and uh, I think that just the fact that I've had that happen so many times, I mean, uh, just looking at some of the guys I'm beating, beating that have uh, gone to have, you know, great careers after, I think that uh, I just know I can push those moments.